All right, so back with De Bello Gallico, book five, chapter 48, part two. All right, so Caesar's gonna send a plan to Cicero with Greek letters. In the letters, he writes, and we are going into some indirect statement. Here's our accusative, here's our mav, here's our infinitive. And this is a shortened form of ad futurum essay. He writes that say that he, and you can put an essay there to make a profectum essay. It's a deponent verb from proficiscorum that he set out with legions. Um, if you don't do that, you can treat it as a participle. He having set out with legions out for it will be present clarity quickly He encourages Hortator and then like a him being Cicero or someone. All right, setting up another indirect command to um, to retain ancient courage or pristine courage or pristine virtue which Sabinus Titurius did not do Gaulus the Gaul alright and then Veritas is deponent from Warrior the Gaul having feared curriculum As it had been ordered uh, Metatrugulum uh, sends the javelin and this is the trigula from above. This Arise clung uh, Kasu by chance, and what's interesting is usually that's like a negative thing, unless uh, we'll see in a moment why it could be negative here. To a uh, to ad term to a tower, and we're gonna actually go this way. I'm gonna. Remove that and and maybe even put an est with it. Change my mind a little bit and it was not that's the neck way. It was not noticed. Obnostri we gotta get a weary in there. It was not noticed by our men. Uh Badu for two days. I'll throw some punctuation on there. Tertio DA, ablative of time, on the third day. Conspicator, it is seen. Quo Dom, you've got the Dom by a certain Milite soldier. All right, and Demta, having been taken down,
uh, departure, it is brought to Cicero. Now, mind you, Cicero has been sending messenger after messenger, and it's been several days, and they're taking a beating, and, you know, he was tired ahead of time now. Holy balls, like, they've got to be running out of hope soon. Ile being a subject change, this is going to be Cicero. He Rick, uh, we're gonna, uh, recites or reads aloud um, this is describing the epistolum, the letter. He recites it having been read, or he recites the red thing. I can went to Militum in an assembly. The tomb of the soldiers. And, and you could take this a couple of ways, but I've been screwing up the long marks on these anyway, so whatever. You could take this as Latitia kind of being the subject here, or it being, you know, manner or means. Um, you'd say greatest happiness uh, afflicts everyone. Or and it afflicts everyone with a with the greatest happiness. To him then, and this is actually really cool. This is very, uh, to me, um, Lord of the Rings-esque. You know, with their helms deep and they think they're about to die and they're about to get smacked senseless and all of a sudden, you know, Gandalf shows up and just, you know, takes out the orcs. This is kind of what this reminds me of, seeing Gandalf up there on the mountain or hilltop or whatever that was. It was a pretty steep hill, like, but... Then, Fumi, and this is plural, but we don't pluralize smoke. Then the smoke of the fires in Kenyorum, Widabantar were seen. Procool, um, at a distance. Quires, this situation, um, Expolit drives off Omnem Divitationem all doubt. We're going to put a long mark there of the arrival of the legions. Okay, now here's what's so frustrating about all this. So we've had this battle it's going on and going on for chapter after chapter after chapter. And then Caesar finally shows up. And you're like, oh man, he's going to do something crazy. Well, we don't know because that's where the AP syllabus ends it um, with regard to the Latin. But um, the Nervi are going to go after him and then he's going to kind of set up shop and they're going to play a little cat and mouse. And eventually um, he's going to go after them and force them to retreat and save the day. But it's just really frustrating that you're reading all this and reading all this and you're like, oh, they're not going to have us read the resolution here. Um, but such is life. But there you go. End of book five. It's a bit, it's a doozy, but we got through.